Hey everybody and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about Passing Strange with Hiko. What's up? Hi! How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm swell. <laughs> Excellent. Are you excited to talk about Passing Strange? I'm so excited. Of course you are. <laughs> Uh, so Passing Strange is this little show, a uh, little musical uh, by Stu, just Stu, no, no last name. Uh, there's a film version uh, directed by Spike Lee that you can find very easily on YouTube. Like, hopefully that's still up as, at the time of this posting. Uh, it's just like a coming of age story about this young musician who goes to Europe, tries to find the real, but finds out that the real was inside him the whole time. It was actually, it was actually inside his mother the whole time. So, so Hiko, I yes. would like to hear your thoughts on this. And so would everybody else. Uh, do you want to go into it? Yes. So my undergraduate, just newly graduated study, <laughs> uh, <laughs> focusing on Passing Strange, focused on uh, the ideas of identity through Passing Strange and how in the Black community, we have a tendency to want to perform uh, certain things or police each other. And so uh, some of the struggles that youth faced is really not wanting to be put in a box or and being accused of acting in certain ways. And you'll hear like acting white or you're not Black enough of within the story or even youth commoditizing his own identity and uh, kind of capitalizing off of kind of like a romanticized version of blackness. Right. Yeah. Being from the hard streets. <laughs> yeah. And being real gangsta or something. Whatever. Uh, yeah. uh, so those are those are kind of like what I my studies focused on. And you'll see them in my videos. Mm -hmm. One of the things that the uh, play utilizes itself is uh, kind of the way that the, it's staged and how the actors are acting out kind of their identities. Uh, there's very minimal props. It's very minimal staging elements, uh, and that is on purpose. They're using uh, ideas that Brecht has come up with, which uh, kind of calls calls attention to itself, calls attention to how it's telling a story, and kind of highlighting that, hey guys, this is just a story. This right. is just theater. Yeah. Uh, you'll see that with the mom putting on her church clothes, but she's not really putting on her church clothes. She's just miming this idea of putting on an identity over herself or kind of how the actors will move around the chairs on stage and kind of change locations. And there's really no visual differences, uh, but we are just kind of told that there's different. Uh, even with how the band's members are placed within the stage. You'll have two scene partners doing a scene, and there's just a band member just randomly sitting in a hole yeah. in the middle of the stage. <laughs> right right between, between these them. two. Yeah. <laughs> and that's just kind of like the, the storytelling saying, hey, theater, you're watching theater right now. This is not real. So it's kind of yeah. like a commentary on itself. Every time you get sucked in to the narrative to the story pulls back and says oh no actually here just watching a play this isn't a real dog you gotta distance yourself youth kind of commoditizes on kind of like a romanticized idea of what he thinks is the real black experience and how he kind of uh, it's vilified throughout the story by the narrator or yeah. uh, other people. It's like, I think you're putting on, I think you're passing for ghetto. And passing is just another term for experiencing something uh, that maybe is not native to yourself. Um, uh, for example, people will say like passing for white. If, you know, a person of color who is born within that certain minority background uh, is born into the world with white skin, even though they are a person of color, they still experience the world as a white person. So they still benefit from white privilege or they'll be perceived or engaged with as a white person, even though they might have ties to a cultural background. And so passing for strange can also be interpreted as something like it's passing for something strange. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it is a strange thing or it isn't a strange thing, but it's passing for something strange. And even though, um, youth is a black person he's not comfortable with his own identity as a black person and he feels the need to put on a, 
a, a realer version of blackness. And so it really differentiates itself from his real lived experience as a black person to performing this inauthentic version of himself. So Hiko, where can people find you on the interweb? Oh, people can find me on the, my YouTube channel called Notebook, or you can follow me on Twitter at Hiko Nico. Uh, do you have LinkedIn? Ah, I do not have a LinkedIn. Uh, well, you got you got to get a LinkedIn, dude. That's where all the cool kids are hanging yeah, out. Yeah, my theater professional self. Sure. I am <laughs> popping off on LinkedIn. So next week, I will be doing a video on your channel. I'll be doing a little interview mm-hmm. with you. So that's going to be fun. Ooh. So until then, both of us will see you next time.